solve each compound inequality, write the answer in the requested form. So we have 16 is less than 3x minus 2 is less than 25, and we're asked to answer using a number line. As with equations in inequalities, standard inequalities, we can first identify the variable term, and we can isolate it by adding 2. The difference is now there are multiple places. There isn't just two sides, there's now in a sense three sides. So we have to add 2 then to each part of this compound inequality. So we now have 18 is less than 3x is less than 27. And like with a, an equation or an inequality, I can isolate the variable by dividing through by 3, but I must divide through each part by 3. Yielding 6 is less than x is less than 9. We're asked to answer using a number line, so let me draw a number line and give it some scale. So um, so I'll use a scale of threes on my number line. So now the solutions are between six and nine. So I will shade the region between 6 and 9, and since it is strictly greater than 6, a parenthesis at 6, strictly less than 9, a parenthesis at 9. And so there's the solution on the number line. Exercise B. Negative 20 is less than or equal to negative x over 3 minus 14 is less than or equal to negative 4. I identify the variable term, and I will isolate it by adding 14 to all three parts of the inequality, yielding negative 6 is less than or equal to negative x over 3 is less than or equal to 10. Now I can isolate the variable by multiplying by negative 3. I must multiply all three parts by negative 3. But now I have to be careful. I've multiplied an in a, uh, all the parts of an inequality by a negative number. I must flip the symbols of inequality. So each of those symbols of inequality becomes a greater than. I have x remaining in the middle. Uh, let's see, negative 3 times negative 6 is 18. And 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. And so I have 18 is greater than or equal to x is greater than or equal to negative 30. It's sometimes easier to read this with the least number written first. So I'm going to flip the whole thing around and rewrite this as negative 30 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 18. We're asked to answer using interval notation. So, the solutions go from negative 30 to 18. So, from negative 30 to 18. Since it can include the negative 30, I use a bracket at negative 30. Since it can include the 18, I use a bracket at 18.